Now, one of the most common questions I get asked is, how can I actually cast from my iPhone or iPad onto my Fire Stick or Fire TV? What's the best way to do that? Now, I did have a look at the Amazon App Store, and although there are a couple of applications out there, all of them are plagued with adverts. They are really clunky, giving you really slow performance, and they have some limiting features where you can only cast certain things, and it just ends up giving you a really poor experience. So are there any alternatives? Well, in this video today, let me show you a brand new application, which is absolutely free, gives you amazing performance, as you can see on the screen. It doesn't have any adverts. It doesn't require any registration. You can go ahead and install it on all of your Amazon devices and then cast your favorite applications, your favorite games, even your favorite third party streaming websites. You can now cast directly onto the big screen absolutely free. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the third generation Fire TV Cube, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device. Now, if I just search for AirPlay, let me just use my voice, AirPlay. So these are the ones I actually uh, tried. I think this one is quite popular, AirScreen, but again, it has those limitations. I think uh, once you use it for, I think five days, you then have to pay a couple of dollars per month to keep on using it. The performance was not good and it just was a terrible casting experience. This application here I actually purchased just for a test. And to be fair, if you're happy paying, this application does work really well. Now, if you're looking for a completely free solution, the one I would personally recommend is called Air Display, which we can see here. Now to get this on all of your devices, just navigate over to Downloader. Let's open that up. And we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com. Or you can type in the short code 53402. Now when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one with the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this new application air display on all of your devices. Let's open that up. Here we are. So how to airplay onto your Fire Stick, Fire TV, absolutely free and without seeing any adverts. So here you got some information about the application, benefits of airplay, keep scrolling down and you should see a single link for the latest version, which you can see here. So it's called air display. Let's click on that. I can now scroll down and you're always looking for this green download button. That's the one to click on. Let's click on that now. Click on install. The application is now installed. I can click on done. You can delete the installation file if you want to reclaim some of that space. Let's do that now. Click on delete. I can now press the home button. Let's now navigate to my applications library. Go to the bottom of this list. And here is the new application there. Let's open that up. Now, by default, it comes up with the name Air Display. This is basically your AirPlay name. And when you look on your devices, your iPhones, your iPads or other iDevices, you'll see this as an option as a target to cost your application or your service to. If I now go to the top right and press select. Here, for example, you can actually customize the name. So let's click on that. Let me actually just type that in fully. So my device now has the name Air Display TD UK. Click on next. Click on OK. It will prompt you that you want to restart the service. I can click on OK. Here, for example, we can see the service is enabled by default. Now, the Google Cast, I'm guessing I'm doing this onto a Fire TV device. That's why the Google Cast option is not enabled. But I'm sure if you install this application onto a Google TV, Android TV device, you probably have the ability to enable that option as well. In fact, if you do install this on one of those devices, do leave me a comment below. And let me know how it worked. That's pretty much it, guys, in terms of configuration. I can now press back. Let's leave that on the screen. I can now pick up uh, an iPhone for a quick test. If I now swipe down from the top, is this icon here, which has the, the small squares. Let's click on that. And it now shows me all of the devices available to cast to. Now I can see the first one in the list is Air Display TD UK. I can now click on that. In fact, let me just show you how fast it is. So if you look at my finger here, so three, two, one, go. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. So some of those other applications that I tested out, you'd click on it. It'll take about 10 to 15 seconds just to connect. Even after it's connected, it'll give you really sluggish performance. And it was just a real bad experience. 
but you can see with this application, it's super fast. I've now connected. You can see now as I swipe left and right, it's super fast, super responsive. I can now start any application. Let's try this chess game. I can now flip my phone sideways, uh, click on start game. And you can see now as I click on something, it's super fast, super responsive. Now I can now enjoy playing these games on the big screen. Uh, take that. Can I actually win? No, probably not. Okay, that's working fine. Of course, I can swipe out of that. If I now open up a browser, I can search for my website. You can see swiping up and down, really smooth. Click on my website. I can now see all of the content in here. Looks absolutely fine. I can navigate through, click on things. That's working great. Now, for example, I'll go to a, a streaming website. I can access this test website if I just type in something really old like uh, this one here. Type that in, click on that, give that a second, and I'm now casting that to the big screen. I can make that full screen, and that's working absolutely fine. Now I can now cast my favorite content to the big screen. Let's back out of that, and we're again back to the Fire TV page. I can now also click on Home. So just because I'm now on a different screen, like maybe I've got an application open, let's go back to Downloader. I can go back to my iPhone, click on cast again. And in a couple of seconds, once again, that will override the screen because that background service is still running. So it's not a case that you have to leave the application running in the foreground. Once you've started the application, you've opened it up once, that service will keep on running in the background, allowing you to cast anything from your device whenever you like. So. That's pretty much this video guys, many thanks for watching and the last recommendation from me is if you are looking for a super fast VPN for the year 2025 and when I say fast, we can see on my device connected to a VPN server in New York, I'm easily pushing over 400 meg downstream. I mean when I saw these speeds I was just so impressed and this is why I've been recommending Surfshark over the last couple of weeks. It really just seems to be a super fast VPN, has unlimited connections doesn't matter if you have five fire sticks, 10 Android TVs, 11 laptops, all of your devices can be covered with a single license and to get all of that for $1.99 a month, so cheaper than a cup of coffee with four months extra free, I do think this special offer is definitely worthwhile checking out. Using my link does help support the channel, so many thanks for doing that. Do have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.